Welcome from Hendrick Motorsports here in Concord, North Carolina. I'm going to be meeting Scott Lloyd to pick up his 2018 Camaro ZL1 Track Attack. It's getting refreshed here at Hendrick for the 2022 season. It's going to get a new wrap, it's getting some upgrades like lighting, and it's going to have all the sponsors for Days Race 4 on the car. I have not seen the car yet. Uh, David Lloyd had a hand in creating the design himself. I, it's been top secret. So I have not seen it. So it's going to be, you're going to see my initial reaction on the car. It's going to be a great day. So here we are. We're about to go in and see what this thing looks like. It's going to be awesome. Oh my God. Holy sh Wow. Holy wow. It is, I'll, I'll show y'all in just a second, but it is unbelievably off the hook. Look at that. That metallic is just absolutely insane. And the Racing for ALS logo. Oh my goodness. And the tribute is all on the hood now, on the, the roof. Wow, it is. Way to go, David. Way to go, man. This is this is totally, totally, you know, order of magnitude better than I thought it would be. Hey, so here we are inside. Uh, the the car is just blow you away, gorgeous. So it's got a mixture of green blue white and a metallic silver and black and it's it all ties together the sponsor logos are tight so i'm still waiting for scott lloyd to show up i got here a little bit early to do a little bit of photography uh while everybody was at lunch and it was nice and quiet here in the shop uh it's going to be really interesting to see what scott's first reaction is on this car i think he's going to be blown away Straight towards my voice here. Alright, I'm got All my right. head down so I can kind right. of see without saying because of the brim. Alright. Alright, All right, there you go. Alright, take a look, man. Oh wow. Wow. It's pretty cool, huh? Dude. He killed it, man. My brother crushed it. I mean look. Man. Dude. Dude. This is all from my brother's head. My brother worked with Jim and the guys at Red Eye Design and they he built this whole thing. This is like it was his vision. Oh my god. I mean the logos. I mean the QR code. And and look at the look at the back of the car and the and the trunk and the and the roof. That looks so good. I love the black. Yeah. I mean, that's a new touch they did. Yeah. They outlined the NALS. That's new. The silver's new. I mean, basically everything. I mean, but to think about, this started with eight people. And that's, that's what we're racing for, man. That's what we're fighting for because that's 178 people now. That's, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to love this. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to get out into the sun. Oh, yeah. Jim's warned us. <laughs> yeah. Am I going to be blind than other drivers out there, man? <laughs> Dave, you crushed it, man. You, you, you went from your head to the, to, the, uh, to the drawings coming from Red Eye, and this is amazing, dude. I'm, I'm blown away. Amazing work, brother. I'll tell you. So here's the thing about this car. My brother went in, and this is an old nationwide paint scheme 
that he used. But then these right here, the shark fins, that actually came off of an old Rusty Wallace paint scheme that my brother liked. But it was only because of Jim at Red Eye Designs, when he came, brought it to him, he was like, this is the only place it's gonna fit. And to be honest, the first time I saw it, I really didn't like it until he added the green. And that was, they just kept working on every little detail and all of the green accents and everything that they did, it just, it ties in with yeah. the sponsor logos and everything. Yeah. Well, I think what's awesome about it is the final rendering was rendering number 24, which is just fitting because everybody knows my brother is the biggest Jeff Gordon fan in the world. That is why I have the 24 on there because he can't run a car, so I'm running the 24 for him. Uh, I'm obviously a senior fan. I, I like Gordon too, don't get me wrong, but my brother, it was back in the day, I was a senior, he was a Gordon. Through twists of fate, we call God stuff. I ended up working with longtime NASCAR vendor, Jim Gravelin of Red Eye Design. We needed a modern muscular look for this refresh with emphasis on the front end and plenty of space for our valuable corporate sponsors. I found a unique base paint scheme that looked contemporary while still evoking the classic rally stripes we had been running, and we started with that. We altered pinstripe width, side banner height, hood proportions, and perhaps most daringly, spec matte chrome as our contrast color. I said to Jim, I want to do for the side numbers what the Seahawks did to football uniforms. And with that vague conceptual instruction, he modernized the 324 font perfectly. I tasked him with incorporating the optic green from our title sponsor logo, and he came up with just the right accent elements. Our ALS trunk tribute panel has unfortunately grown to fill both the roof and rear deck lid. It was important to me that the memorial appear integrated into the overall paint and stripe scheme, not just plastered on. And I'm especially proud of how the memorial panels flow visually from the hood up and over the car. I've always liked the twin racing for ALS logos on the tail panel so we just updated the finishes and placements a bit and stuck with what works. In the end, we spent about as much time on our sponsor logo placements as the rest of the car combined. We hope those placements convey the thoughtfulness and intentionality behind them. We're so honored to have these wonderful organizations on board and part of the Racing for ALS mission. But just look at this, he, he blacked out the A pillar here, which makes everything pop. Got one of our logos on the side. We never had a look, one of our logos on the side and he, that always bothered him. And, and the base color is hyper blue metallic. The ba yeah, the, this is Exalta blue. Uh, they paint right here in the shop and it, you know, they went back and repainted and got all the road rash off and everything, but we now have clear PPB on the front, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, but it's just, everything about the car is just amazing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's off the hook. God almighty, dude. Dave crushed it, man. Jim, thank you. Jim's not gonna be on camera, but Jim's <laughs> over there. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> all right, man, so here's one of the coolest things, and this is why I love working with Hendrick, uh, is everything that they do, it's gonna be top notch or they're not gonna do it. And that's how it's been from day one. Uh, and that's what we've enjoyed working with them for. Um, and so I've been the I've been the butt of many jokes, especially from the guy holding the camera, Mr. Uh, Scott Weatherford, uh, the Camaro Beast. Uh, if you're not familiar with our Beast Camaro, uh, that we actually, for, at some of our night events, we were uh, taping tactical flashlights to the front of the of the uh, car. Uh, Mic check. No good. Wait a second. I got it. Good. Uh, and the guys at Hendrick called me up and said, "Hey, man, you can't be t you can't be you know taping flashlights to your car. We're going to do something a little bit uh, more advanced than that." So what they thought up, and that's where this crew was amazing, is they went through and said, "Hey, check this out. We've got these extra spots here for the for our what would be brake coolers, 
Uh, this one is in use for us, but these two were not. These are only used if you're at really high need tracks. So they went in and put LEDs in there to where now. Yeah. We'll light them up. Hopefully I'm not gonna be totally blinded. Boom. Wow, that is very bright. So now for our night events, we'll be in good shape. And if you wanna come around the back here real quick, the other thing they did for us is we actually had a magnetic light that we had put in the back for events like the Jayzilla, uh, CMS Under the Lights, we went to Daytona with Audi Club. What they did is they came in and put um, this really cool boxed-in light because oh, wow. one of the things that was happening was the other light was illuminating the whole back of the car. So Sweet. when you're in the car and you're driving, you're trying to look out the back, everything is red, you can't really see very well. So now this can, you know, keeps the light, you know, where you want the light and where, and keeps it away from where you don't. Um, so it's just a yeah, really, really, it yeah. So it's just a really, really cool setup that they did. Wow, that's that's really great engineering. So, well, while you're in here, <laughs> what you'd want to also be able to see, I'm gonna turn the power off here. What you want to also be able to see is before we had one handy cam, and I'm gonna try to get in here the best that I can. I'm a big old boy. We had one handy cam that was back here. And so it was the one that was looking out and it was, to, so you could see the driver's hands and you could see out of the car, but we just didn't really feel like it was given what we wanted to see. Yeah, if you see if you see Scott's earlier track videos, you're, this is gonna be a familiar frame member here, cage member. Exactly, so uh, the, the crew here said, hey, I think we can do something better to really get it. So you can see now that they've added a handy cam here to the front, but they've also put one here. So now you're gonna be able to see everything oh, the driver's doing. Great. So you're gonna have two different views every time. And what's cool about these cams and the way they set them up is that when the car gets to 25 miles an hour, that's when they turn on. So that way I don't have to worry about anything. I just get in the car and drive. And as soon as I get going 25 miles an hour or more, which is, I, I, that's how I know when I'm speeding in the pits because occasionally I'll get these random videos of me going in the North Paddock at VIR. So for me, um, well, that's, that'll, that'll be great, especially yeah. with race render and getting a, a, both a driver and a front view. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And, and it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be, I mean, really kind of bird's eye. You can see the camera right there. So that's, that's gonna be awesome, Scott. That, and then they, they rewrapped our seat. I mean, it's just, we're ready to go. Now, obviously we still gotta talk more about this wrap though, because you can see everything that they did with all this chrome. I'm just still blown away looking at it. So we wanna go over all of the sponsors uh, that donated for Dave's race, which is gonna go to benefit ALS TDI and their research. Uh, and our way of saying thank you to them for their donation is putting them on. Uh, obviously everything we're doing, you know, for example, Dave's race goes to ALS TDI. Uh, you know, they're a 501c3, they do 24 seven research. Uh, we're doing Carolyn's race that's going to the Duke ALS clinic. And then we have our uh, Racing for ALS Patients Assistance Fund. We've given out $49,000 in grants in the last year. Uh, we've given out a van for a family to use and we're actually about to get a second one. Uh, we're trying to go out and just, you know, help people where they are and what they need. And it's our sponsors that make it all happen and those that come to the races and you know buy shirts or hats or whatever else it's uh, or donate to get a complimentary shirt or hat let me make sure i get that right uh to, to where we go so for dave's race uh we uh, wanted to make sure that our sponsors were really um highlighted so we would start here with our, our title sponsor uh this is carolina's home medical equipment um they're an amazing company and i know that because we've actually worked with them directly uh, they've helped my brother tremendously with things like his hospital bed and his wheelchair and everything else and uh, the CEO of this company is Andrew Trammell good friend of ours you might know him as night train uh, you know zeo one on Instagram uh, you probably see us cross you know cross uh, you know crossing our pictures all the time super super dude and also Andrew not only is he the the title sponsor he is the top fundraiser for Dave's race all three of the Dave race events has happened to this point uh, so again we're just really you know really love to have them on the car the next level of sponsorships that we had in this particular case are the hashtag NDLS sponsorships. So uh, when you go in and look at that, I guess I'll start here since I'm here. Uh, we have uh, Rob Wilmuth, uh, Faster Skunk Racing. Um, he is a, kind of a race concierge service would be the best way to put it. Uh, helps a lot of people with coaching and uh, you know getting their car setups right, reviewing data. Really, really good service, good dude. Discount Tire, I would hope everybody knows who Discount Tire is. Uh, if my understanding is they just bought Tire Rack, they're growing that much more. Amazing people to work with uh, and, and have been just great in, in, in these events. Obviously we have South Charlotte uh, Hyundai. Um, 
If you're looking for a car, yeah, I, you know, they're, they're good people. I, you know, I, I can tell you that we've worked with them and uh, one of our good friends, Ron James, works there and does a lot of the service work there, uh, races with us. So again, people that we know and trust, uh, if you're looking for something. Uh, obviously, Charlotte Custom Stone, uh, this is Rob Pyrock's organization. Um, he also races with us. You'll see him out. He's got a beautiful black Mercedes that he comes and races with us and uh, you know helps raise awareness for the cause. But if you're looking for stone, obviously in the Charlotte area, super good, high quality, nothing but the best. Hendrick South Point, I have to kind of pause there for a second because that's Cameron Singleton is the general manager there. One of my best friends on the planet. We call him a brother. Um, he's just somebody that is just a special dude and he has helped us literally from day one We purchased Godspeed our very first car we had from Cameron uh, I think in total we purchased 15 cars from him in the last four years between all of our friends and family and everything else And every time it's just amazing. So uh, special tribute for, for Cameron for that Obviously Haggerty, you know, let's drive together. Um, they've been amazing. They're doing a lot of social uh, social media stuff with us and obviously do a lot of HPD and track um, track racing packages. Uh, they do now all of the uh, insurance policies for our events and for, you know, for, for Godspeed. So great folks to work with. And as they call themselves, you know, they're drivers. Uh, you know, they're drivers and, and that's kind of how and why they do what they do is because they love cars. So they've been awesome to work with. Across the bottom, um, when you come down here, make sure I didn't miss anybody else, but uh, these are our Racing for Dave's level sponsors. Uh, you know, Carolina Cruise for Kids, that's Kevin Arndt, a uh, good friend of ours, does a lot of really good stuff, especially for kids in the Charlotte area. Um, Putt Putt Golf, um, that's a pretty near and dear one to my heart. Uh, my granddad started Putt Putt in 1954, and that was my family business. And um, so it's really cool to kind of have them back on the car and kind of come full synergy with David Callahan, the current owner. Um, so that, that's a really cool one to us. Uh, we have 529 Innovations. They do brakes and brake pads and they're a sponsor right now uh, and really helping everybody out for Dave's Race right now. So we'd already told everybody to make sure you reach out to Pete. Please make sure you're doing that. Southern Integrity Auto Transport. Um, this is another one. Uh, Andrew and Ben, super nice dudes. Andrew in particular, uh, you know, uh, has a, a mission and a vision for all of this because his aunt is on our car, uh, his aunt Chris. And she had just passed away when I'd reached out to say, hey, we need to get a car to Hennessy and we're, we're racing for ALS. And just an amazing, you know, uh, thing how it all came together. Um, so again, if, <laughs> if, we can't, if we can't get them to haul it, we haul it ourselves. So Southern Integrity, you know, that's, that's who you want to call. Trailers of the East Coast, we've worked with them for years now. Uh, they helped us get our RV and the Renegade, helped us get our car hauler. Really good people if you're looking for somebody to work with. You know, they've been really good in helping us. Guns Fitness is Kevin's, uh, run by Kevin's wife, Regina. Amazing, phenomenal fitness. She did a burpee a thon last year. She did burpees for an hour, raised $15,000 for Dave's race. Um, she, like her husband Kevin, just have an amazing heart for helping people, amazing heart for Christ. Um, just the kind of people that you want to work with. She does a lot of on, uh, online work as well. So if you're like me and need to shave, shave some pounds, I'm going to start working with Regina soon because i got to get in shape. Our final one here that I would point out is Camaro Family. Uh, we just say thank you to them. They do a lot of work. Uh, Tony is one of the main guys that runs this, uh, and he has been awesome to us. Uh, helped us a lot with social media, but again, just truly, genuinely loves cars. So uh, making sure you see that. And, Tony, make sure you saw that we kind of put your badge here, just like it would have been on the real Camaros, you know, coming out. Our final one's obviously Trad's photos. We call Trad the king of the motion blur. And Trad is somebody that uh, we literally met Trad at our very first event and have just forged a friendship over time. He shot every one of Dave's race, every one of our small batch events. Trad is always there. Just one of the nicest people you ever meet. And just a top-notch professional if you're looking for that. But above all, the Lord is at the top. And for me, this is a special thing because what we face and what we're walking through with my brother right now is scary. And for us as humans, it's more than we can handle. But luckily we have the Lord to lean on and the Lord is walking with us in all that we do. And that's why I chose Psalm 91, which is about the Lord's protection and James 1, which talks about all the challenges you face. Let them bring about perfection in your life through the Lord and that the Lord brought that in your life to be able to teach you what you needed to know uh, as you move forward. And so for me, that is why 
the Christian fish in these scriptures will always be at the top anytime you see any of our sponsors because for us that's really who we give all the glory to is God so hope that helps and thank you to everybody who supported us and will continue to uh, we're grateful uh, and look forward to seeing you out there on the track soon and see you at Dave's race July 1st and 2nd and Carolyn's race on May 23rd and May 24th Hey, well, thanks for joining us on this unveiling. Thank you very much to Hendrick Motorsports for letting us come in and film this. Uh, the track attack program is totally awesome. They're recycling uh, the, the last generation NASCAR for amateur racers. So check them out at trackattack.com or hendricktrackattack.com. Uh, thank you for our Days Race 4 sponsors. We'll see you at VIR July 1st and 2nd. And then David and Jim, y'all did a great job on this uh, layout on these graphics. It is just unbelievable. It's, it's something to see. So please subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow the channel. And also you'll get to see videos when Scott Lloyd takes his car out on track. <laughs> We're gonna make